Welcome friends, it's G Sal from Butterfly Garden Preschool. Today I have a new story for you. It's a story about family, love, and how our differences make us unique. The story is called My Brother Charlie, and it's written by Holly Robinson Pete and Ryan Elizabeth Pete. And the pictures are by Jane W. Evans. We've always been together, even in mommy's tummy, my twin brother Charlie and me. We still share lots of things, curly hair and brown eyes, how much we love hot chocolate with marshmallows, our dog Harriet, rolling in the grass, music, football, and names that start with the letter C, Callie and Charlie. But being twins doesn't make us exactly the same. I'm two minutes younger than Charlie, I can stare for hours at the Big Dipper in the moon, and I love to talk. Charlie is skinnier and goofier than me. He hates math. When he looks at the sky, he finds jets and helicopters, and sometimes my brother gets very quiet. When we were babies, I pointed out flowers and cats and fireflies. I snuggled and giggled with Mommy on dark nights and told Mommy again and again how much I love her. But Charlie was different. He wouldn't play with me or kiss mommy's cheeks when she hugged him. And he didn't say, I love you. Seems those words were locked deep inside my brother. Everyone told mommy not to worry. He's just being a boy, they said. But mommy knew there was something different about Charlie. I knew it too. As we grew older, mommy watched Charlie very carefully. She and I could see he was struggling. Then mommy discovered that Charlie's brain works in a special way because Charlie has autism. It's harder for Charlie to make friends or show his feelings or stay safe. One doctor even told mommy that Charlie would never say I love you. That made mommy and me saddest of all. I have learned from Charlie that love doesn't always come from what you say. It can also come from what you do. And so we do right by Charlie. We love Charlie strong. We watch over him with the might of the angels we have to. When Charlie wants something, nothing stops him, even when it's dangerous, and there are days when it's hard to be Charlie's sister. Sometimes he can ruin the best playdates. Other times he seems so far away, like when he won't look at me, or speak, or play. I wish I could crawl inside Charlie's world to move things around for him, and for me. I know Charlie wants to be in my world, fitting in, making friends, having fun and laughing. There are good times with Charlie too, when Charlie looks right at me and welcomes me with a smile. He lets me touch his face. He laughs when we lock fingers in a holding hands game. That's Charlie's I love you, said in the silly ways we play together. Charlie is good at so much. He knows the names of all the American presidents. He's a fish in the water. He has a special way with animals, especially Harriet. When Harriet and Charlie are together, there's even more I love you said in the way only Charlie can. When he gets Harriet to sit, run, or listen. Charlie's got a mind that tests things, shoelaces, paper clips, apples, pine cones, and he enjoys sharing. He likes to show off his shell collection, his new sneakers, and how well he plays Itsy Bitsy Spider on the piano. Charlie likes to share how sweet he is and how much he cares about other people. When I fall off my bike or bump my head, Charlie comes running. He always makes my hurts feel better with the caring that comes from his eyes. Sometimes when Charlie can find the words, when they unlock themselves from inside him, he does say, I love you. I will always remember the first time I heard him say it, so clear and kind, so Charlie. I banged my toe hard and cried. There was my brother patting my back, saying over and over again, don't cry, Callie, I love you. It wasn't just the words that were so strong. It was the love that Charlie showed me just by being there. I love you too, Charlie, it came from me fast. Charlie has autism, but autism doesn't have Charlie. If you ever get to meet my brother, you'll feel lucky to be his friend. He won't care if you have the coolest sneakers, or if you are the best at sports, 
He'll just like you for who you really are. That's Charlie. I'm blessed to be Charlie's sister and to share so much. I count my Charlie blessings every day. At the very top of my Charlie blessings list is the love Charlie and I have for each other. Said in so many ways. And that's the end of our story. So Callie and Charlie are twins and her brother, Charlie, has autism. Have you ever heard of that word, autism? Autism means that your brain works a little differently. You may learn a little differently. You may think a little differently. Sometimes children or people who have autism um, have a hard time with noises around them. Too many noises bother them. Uh, sometimes it's also sensory and things that they touch. Um, they, they don't like certain feels and touches and like other um, sensory experiences. Um, sometimes children with autism have a hard time socializing and talking with friends. They tend to be more introverted and stay inside of themselves. Um, but regardless, we all have our differences, don't we? Some of us who don't have a label of autism like to be by ourselves sometimes or we would prefer to be by ourselves rather than go out to a big party or be around a lot of people. And then there are others of us that love being around others and get joy and energy from being around people. Um, at school, there are some of us that really like numbers and others of us that struggle with math and doing numbers. Um, I know I personally, my struggle and challenge is directions. If I don't have my map out on my phone um, or written directions, I get lost. My sense of direction is really, uh, I get confused very easily. So that's one area that's a weakness for me. So we all have our areas of weaknesses and our areas of strengths and talents. And so that's what makes our, our world beautiful. That's what makes people so unique. If everybody was just like me, I'd be really bored. I'm glad to have friends that are unique and different in so many ways. Um, one other thing I want to let you know is when we talk about people who are different and have different challenges and maybe are labeled with autism um, or have other labels uh, because of the way their brain works, we don't say autistic person, but we say person with autism. Um, and that's because, or person with disability or diff a person who's differently abled. We always put the person first because they are not their disability. They are people first and the disability is just a part of who they are. Remember, be kind to your friends. Always go out of your way to make new friends and learn about different people who you may not have talked to previous times. Thank you.